Okay, hey everyone, um, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, Minecraft basically that I'm making in Unreal Engine 4. So, I'm basically remaking Minecraft in Unreal Engine. And, well, basically, two people inspired me to do this. I'll say the first is this guy. I've created an infinite voxel world similar to Minecraft. Now this guy did this in Unreal Engine. It's on the forums, you guys can check it out. Um, you can also watch this video um, on how it works and everything. Really cool. Um, so yeah, um, his version is pretty amazing. Uh, I have no clue how he did some of the stuff. Uh, and he did everything in blueprint, blueprint only. Now that's a programming language inside Unreal Engine. Very cool. Um, the second guy that inspired me to do this was, uh, well, on YouTube he's called uh, DLC Energy. Um, he's doing this in Python. So I thought, you know, eh, I'm also going to try this in Unreal Engine. And I'm going to try to use blueprints only, like this guy did. Um, now I have no clue how he did it, but I can show you what I have so far. Um, I've only been working on this for two days now, so let me just run it to show you what I have. And okay, it might take a while to load because it has to generate basic 100 by 100 block world. So yeah. And I do everything through for loot uh, for the terrain generation using Berlin noise and everything. It's an algorithm that I learned. Pretty cool. It, in blueprints, it's a little heavy to program um, something like simplex noise and stuff like that. But yeah, I finally figured it out. And it's pretty slow at the moment, but yeah. And one day it will load. One day. And there we go. We fall into our Minecraft world. Now, so yeah, this is basically what I have. Um, a randomly generated terrain with um, grass and trees. Um, my textures could maybe still use some work, but yeah, what can I say? I'm not an artist, so yeah, I only do programming. Um, art is not my thing. So some of the textures I got from Google, but the grass one, couldn't really find that. So I had to build this myself, which really looks terrible, as you can see. And it's too dark, and for some reason, the light is reflecting on my normal grass also a little bit too much. But yeah, I can always disable the lighting and use flat lighting if I want to. So yeah, but anyway, I have trees, grass, I can destroy blocks, um, I can dig. Uh, and oh, and also, um, like in Minecraft, you can't really dig very far. As you can see, if I click there, I'm too far away, so I won't dig those blocks. But near me, I can dig, and I can also spawn blocks. Uh, this is castle blocks. Also pretty cool. Um, yeah. So that's what I have so far, and I can also dig infinitely deep. Uh, the world just keeps on generating blocks as I go deeper it just spawns more blocks underneath me so I will never reach the end I will always just dig deeper and deeper I will never reach the end so yeah um, that's that uh, I'm just quickly mine myself out of this place oh and the lighting is still a little incorrect it's supposed to be dark when you're going underground 
so I'm still working on that and yeah How deep am I? Oh, I think I'm actually climbing uphill right now. I think I'm going to... So, okay, this is gonna take a while. Since I'm going uphill... Oh, there we go. And there was light. And it went away. And there it is again. So yeah, it's still a little buggy and everything, but it works. So yeah, um, I think next what I'll do is add in a couple of um, zombies, make them attack you at night, and then I'll make a day-night cycle. And as you can see, my skybox that I'm using is way too realistic. Um, yeah, so that shouldn't be like that. And if you see, if we reach the end of the world, it'll just stuck for a couple of seconds with terrible lag and then it'll generate the rest of the world in a moment if it won't be as slow as it is I'm still having a little trouble to get this to work more efficiently as you can see it generates the world very slowly and yeah so yeah, that's basically it guys so next I'll add in zombies that can attack you at night with a day and night cycle um, I'll also probably add more blocks and maybe health for a character and stuff like that and probably also water if I can figure that out how to do that I'll maybe add water and stuff like that but yeah and then I'll also make a tutorial series on how to do this soon so yeah stay tuned um, let me just quickly also show you here. I have the entire project here in Unreal Engine. And I've done everything in blueprints as well. As you can see, this is some of my blueprint blueprints. This is the landscape generation which is happening here in four loops. As you can see, uh where's my loops? There they are. The chunk sizes and everything. Um, this loads and saves my entire environment, so you can actually save and load the entire environment every time you play. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll make a tutorial series on this very soon. So yeah, cheers.